All right. So every single time before I start um, recording these episodes, I read through my notes because I want to know roughly what I'm talking about. Roughly, just roughly what I'm talking about and roughly read my notes. And this is an important episode. This really is a fundamentally important episode for everybody listening to this. Probably more important to the younger viewers. Uh, so Zach and Kai, pin your goddamn ears back and for once listen to your doody dad. That's what I call myself, by the way, to my kids, doody dad. And they just laugh at me and say, no, you're... Well, the fat dad. Like, <laughs> fat dad. For seven k to do, you little shit. Anyway, Zach and Kai, I love you. Um, so we're talking career capital. And it, it's it's something like skill stacking, which we'll do another episode about skill stacking. But career capital, I'm going to read it because um, I'll never get it all out. Career capital is anything that puts you in a better position to make a difference in your future career, such as skills, connections, qualifications, and resources. So let me, let me say that again. Career capital is anything that puts you in a better position to make a difference in your future career, such as skills, connections, qualifications, and resources. Gaining career capital is important throughout the whole of your career, but especially when you are young, as you have a lot to learn and little reputation to rely on. So let's just go through that again. So skills. So career skills. So oh, I'll, I'll read this last bit here. Focus on transferable career capital to other sectors. So career capital skills that you can transfer to other sectors, to other industries. You can leverage career capital for future success. Please, if you need to, rewind that bit because it's so, so critically important is this. For me, one of the biggest, um, biggest skills, career capital, is building relationships. So that is a skill building relationships. Um, my sisters are very, very good at this, building relationships, very good. Um, building relationships. Liam, listen to this. You know that you, I believe Liam is world-class at this. He digs a well before he's thirsty. He always makes sure that he's he builds relationships. So that for me is a skill. Another skill, for example, that I will be using, I will be trying to educate myself on is, listen, Google ain't going away. Google's not going away. So I've, I've got a course about SEO for, for my, for my uh, websites because it's, it's a local search. I need to, my business needs to be good on SEO. So I, it's a skill. I don't want to be the person who does it all, but I want to, because it's a who, not the how. I don't want to know how to do something, so I want to find the who. But I equally, I need to know what I'm talking about. Um, pay-per-clicks, advertisements. It's not going away in my industry, so I want to learn more about pay-per-clicks. And that skill, I can transfer to any other industry. SEO, pay-per-clicks, Google's here to stay, my friends. And so that sort of skill is transferable. Connections, connections, again, relationships, so important. Qualifications, you know me in school. I think school is a load of shit. A lot of shit. Um, I don't respect it at all. Um, again, it's more for it's more for building the person up in terms of personality. But it's it's I can I can argue and I have done with people about who who fundamentally believe that school is the way forward. School is broken. School is broken on a system that that they want to keep you on this hamster wheel, and it's changed. The world has changed so much in the last ten years, let alone the last twenty years, and the curriculum hasn't changed with it. So school it's it's not fit for purpose full stop end of no I, I can i can literally go into an argument with anybody because i know that obviously teachers listen to this will feel very very passionate about the school but ultimately i, I don't want to get into it too much but i love to i love to debate this with people and um, ultimately what is school there for what is the edge what is what is the end game what do you want to do ultimately you want to you want to prepare people for the life outside school mm, yeah how, how is school doing that then how, how are we doing that Everything you can learn, or you, the, everything that we learn at school, you can find out now. I mean, the the tests, the exams, oh, it's so broken because nobody needs to remember any of this anymore because you've got a phone in your pocket with a computer, da, 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 find out straight away. You don't need to know that sort of stuff. Yes, if you want to be a surgeon, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a solicitor, you need grades. Obviously, you do. But, however, everybody else... You don't need it. You don't You don't need school. You don't need that. I got to business. You know what? Do you know? This is ridiculous. Business studies, I would consider myself, I was going to say, okay at business. Okay, I've got a lot to learn, but I'm okay. And by the, it's a real high barrier is that because um, Dan Bradbury is brilliant at business. I'm okay. My other business friends that I know who's in business and I'm okay because most of them don't listen to this, are, are, are shit. Because you've got to spend time to know understand business. My wife, she got she got uh, an A in business studies. I got like an F. 
How, how, is, how does that possibly work? How is somebody teaching business studies in school? Oh, don't get me started. I've got started on it. I've got started on it. Somebody's teaching business studies in school who never, ever ran a business. How can they teach business studies to somebody? It, it's ridiculous. And probably the reason why I didn't respect business studies at school is because my dad always said, well, if you understood business and you'd be running your own business to teaching. And so I guess that it goes back to the old quote, people who can't do teach. Um, and that, and I don't think that's, I don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful to all teachers because I mean, in this instance, I don't mean overall, I mean, in this instance. And so it's like me, for example, I teach my kids football because I can't do, I want them to be better than me. Um, so in terms of, in terms of business studies in school, and yes, I, I think that is, yeah. And anyway, moving very, very swiftly on before I piss so many people off. But that's how I, I feel about school. But moving on, qualifications. So qualifications, yeah, I like to see Google qualifications. They're Google stamp of approval. Duh, duh, duh. Um, what sort of education have you been through in terms of qualifications, in terms of skills, in terms of courses? What have you done there? And so that to me is so, so important. So what I want you to do is look at how you, how you can improve your career capital. How can you build this skill stacking? How can you build upon that? What can you do to make yourself more valuable for your future success? And so for me, um, I, I, I need to know more about investing, not because I want to invest my money because I've already, I believe, but my business is my pension fund. And normally that is a ridiculous thing to say, but storage, it, it's, it's very predictable, very robust. Um, I want to know more about investing because I want to be a portal where people invest. And so that for me will be a brilliant skill for me to learn. Um, educate myself on finances, be, becoming more financially literate. I want to do that. I want to make sure I'm, I'm better there. So that is again, skill stacking. So where can, how can you improve? How can you gain career capital? That for me is the fundamental. Um, I, I love this. Gaining career capital is so, so important. Tomorrow, we're talking about the 66% ratio. 66.66% .66 ratio. All right, my friends, see you soon. Thank you so much. I love you. Loads of man love. Bye-bye.